Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this ABC 36 News update. I'm Tom Kenny. A tractor trailer hauling hazardous materials crashed in Scott County today between Georgetown and Paris. The chemicals, primarily acids, spilled. In fact, the mess is still being cleaned up late in the day. Highway 460 closed for miles from Newtown Pike in Scott County East to the Bourbon County line. ABC 36's Jeff Cornish has more. Jimmy Walters knew something was wrong when he stopped hearing cars go by his house. After the traffic started slowing down, you started hearing a lot of sirens. So I just walked down the yard and could see the tractor and trailer turned over on the side. A tractor trailer from the Brentag company heading to Paris collided with a car and a jeep spilling barrels of chemicals in and outside of the truck. And we do have some chemical chemicals that are leaking. Uh, we're concerned uh, about uh, possible mixtures of the chemicals together, so we've evacuated a fairly large area. Highway 460 was also closed almost three miles from the Scott County Airport to Newtown Christian Church. Most of the barrels contained acids, and some had other dangerous fluids inside them. The rain this evening is a concern for those involved in the cleanup. We've got some flammable liquids on the truck also. Well, this truck's turned over and to actually tore the gate down at, at the KU substation. So as far as that goes, it couldn't be any worse. KU wanted to shut the power down, but because of the fumes, could not get anyone close enough to do it. Jimmy Walters headed to work as usual, driving a big rig. I've been on this road with a tractor and trailer, and you do not have no room for air at all. None. In Scott County, Jeff Cornish, ABC 36 News. All right, Jeff, thank you. There were some anxious moments this afternoon, and much credit has to go to a pilot of a two-seater Cessna plane that had to make an emergency landing in a horse farm field on Brittany Farms, which is in Woodford County, along Pisgah Pike. For reference point, it's near the castle on Versailles Road in Woodford County. There are reports that for some reason the engine suddenly quit. The pilot had to put that plane down, did so successfully this afternoon. He and the passenger were not injured. In politics, one possible challenger for Republican Senator Jim Bunningspot says he approached the senator once before for advice about running. Well, yesterday, Bunning, of course, announced that he would not seek re-election in 2010. Senator blames some of the leaders of the Republican Party for making it impossible for him to raise enough money for a successful re-election bid. Well, Bowling Green Dr. Rand Paul, who's the son of former presidential candidate Ron Paul, says he held off putting his name on the ballot against Bunning out of respect for the senator. He did make attempts in the past to reach out to the senator to talk about his own possible Senate run. Now Rand is expected to officially enter the race next week. Secretary of State Trey Grayson is already in.